Yes? I've been looking for Mr. Verloc. I'm Mr. Verloc. Mr. Verloc. We thought you might be dead. You do understand English, don't you? Yes, I understand English. Your husband hasn't slipped out the back way by any chance, has he? A man called Verloc. I beg your pardon? You know him. What makes you say that? Verloc says so. You know, Mr. Vladimir, there's one thing that pleases me about this affair. It gives me the opportunity to clear out a whole lot of foreign political spies. What a ghastly nuisance. And now, do you see, the prosecution of Verloc will demonstrate their danger to the public. Nobody would believe a pornographer. Oh, you do know him, then. What they will believe is the wealth of precision and detail. So this is what you mean to do? Seriously? We've got the man. We have no choice. You're feeding up the lying spirit of these animals. Why? Why, some sense of morality? No, there is a, a practical side. You can't complain about the inefficiency of our police. In 12 hours, we've identified a man blown to shreds. We found the bomber, and we've caught a glimpse of the provocateur behind him. We could, of course, have gone further, but we stopped at the limit of our territory. So it was planned abroad? In the diplomatic sense, that, of course, is a fiction. I really don't understand you people. We have greater experience of these revolutionaries. We suffer greatly from their activities, while you suffer their presence gladly in your midst, which makes us suffer even more. Well, your government grumbled most about our police. I just wanted to tell you about one of our successes. I'm sure I'm very grateful. 